Hello, my name is Mark Decky and I'm the Injury Prevention Coordinator. Today I'm going to be talking about something called Stop the Bleed, a very important and brand new initiative brought to us by the White House Administration, the American College of Surgeons, and the Hartford Consensus in response to active shooter situations, mass casualty situations, and bombings. Today we're going to be talking about three ways to stop the bleed. Wound packing, we're talking about compression, and we're going to talk about applying a tourniquet. Take both hands and apply direct pressure using both hands, steady, hard, firm pressure, and you do not want to like remove your arms to take a look to see if the bleeding is stopped. You want to hold down as hard as you can, waiting for the paramedics to arrive. If you feel that direct pressure is not enough and the patient is still bleeding, you want to use some type of clean cloth, whether it be a jacket or a sweater, or for this training purposes, we're going to use a scarf, and you want to really get inside and pack the wound. So you see here that we're really getting deep down in the source of where the bleeding is coming from and really getting there and packing the wound. And you can only continue by holding direct pressure until the paramedics show up. The third and most effective way to stop the bleed is by applying a tourniquet. And a tourniquet is a device that cuts off the circulation of blood. It's important to remember that a tourniquet can only be used on limbs, so for example, arms and legs. And in the event you do not have a tourniquet, you can improvise by using a tie. And so what we're gonna to do today is we'll pretend that someone's been shot in the leg. You wanna take this tie, and you wanna tie off two to three inches above where the wound is, and just cross both ends of the tie, tie as hard as you can, and take some kind of uh, rod or a windlass. For, for example, we're gonna use a pen here, and you're gonna tie another simple knot above and then you're gonna use this pen here to keep twisting and tightening the wound until the blood has stopped coming out. It's important to remember that a tourniquet is going to hurt and that means you shouldn't take it off. The only people that can take off a tourniquet is a doctor in an emergency room. And you never wanna loosen a tourniquet. You never wanna loosen a tourniquet until a doctor takes it off in the emergency room. We are a level one trauma center accredited by the American College of Surgeons at New York Presbyterian Queens. Part of our commitment is to educate our community in how to prevent accidents. The Stop the Bleed initiative is part of that. We are committed to train members of our community in simple techniques on how to stop bleeding in a case of emergency. In doing so, we empower individuals with no medical training whatsoever to be able to intervene and save someone's life in the field, at home, in the movie theaters, wherever that is. The initiative was started because of some gunshot incidents that were in communities in the United States, but this is applicable for anything. Should you have an incident at home, walk up to a car accident, or any other situation you might imagine, you can stop the bleeding and save a life.